Welcome to Creole and Cajun Living with Bomb Cherry. In this video, I will be showing you how I make my own reading pillows. This is a perfect gift for children and adults alike, especially if they are readers or for the dad or the mom who want things to be right there at their fingertips. And as you can see, you can make them in different ways, different patterns, and different designs. So let's get started, shall we? So as you can see, I decided to embroider my design on my front pocket to match the fabric in which I'm using to make my pillows. But from the previous photos, you can see that is not necessary. Okay, so let's start with the pattern pieces. For this particular type of pillow, I am using five pattern pieces and I will give you the exact measurements in the description box below. So here I'm starting off with my two pattern pocket pieces. I'm going to place the right sides together. You will notice that one piece is longer than the other. That's okay. I'm pinning across the top and I'm going to stitch across. Now I'm going to flip the front piece to the front and I'm going to line the bottom of the front piece to the bottom of the back piece. What you will see is that a portion of the back piece is at the top of the front piece. This is how it should be. This is called a faux binding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this, then I'm going to pin it and then sew across the top. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take the front piece and attach the pocket to it. I'm now aligning the front of the pocket to the front of the pillow cushion. Align the raw edges, pin in place, and then I'm going to sew the pocket onto the front of the cushion. You just turn the corner.
Okay, so now we're going to do our handle. This is the rectangle piece. Okay, so I'm going to fold my rectangle into half and press. I'm then going to unfold and take one of the raw edges and bring it into the center and press. Okay. Now I'm taking the other raw edge, bringing it into the center and pressing. I'm now going to fold that over and press it as well. And now I'm going to take this to my machine and sew along the edge. Now you can sew both edges if you like, but I'm just going to sew along one edge and this will create my handle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here is my completed handle, and now I'm going to attach it to the front of the cushion. I'm going to determine the middle of the cushion. I'm then going to fold my handle, and then lie them down, and I'm going to pin it in place. I want to place the edges of the handle to the edge of the top of the cushion. So I'm only going to stitch across the top of the handle and I've decided to use a zigzag stitch. Okay, so here's what I have so far, and now what I'm going to do is add the back of the cushion on to the front of the cushion. Side note, if you have directional pattern, then make sure that it's facing in the right direction. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to make sure that the right sides are facing each other, line them up edge to edge, and we're going to pin it. And we're going to make sure that we leave a little section open. Okay, so I've lost the little clip of me sewing, but what I did was at the beginning of the area in which I was going to leave open, I started there. I sewed completely around until I got to that area once again, ensuring to leave a little space opening for flipping. Okay, so now I'm going to flip this inside out. Okay, so here's the finished result. Here is pillow number one, pillow number two, and my very first reading pillow. Here are some of my reading pillow fabrics. I do have custom designs as well. If you would like to order a reading pillow for myself, make sure to hit me up at bombcherrylive at gmail.com. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up, share it with your family and friends, and don't forget to subscribe.